Hey YouTubers, Levi666 here. Uh, this video has been a long time coming. Uh, some changes have come to the channel. Uh, some of you guys may have noticed that a lot of the proxy videos are gone, are removed. Uh, and that's because um, either somebody knocked on me and told Wizards what was going on with my channel and what I was doing, or they just happened to stumble across my small YouTube channel and decided to send me uh, this beautiful letter here. Oh, it's backwards. There you go. Um, pretty much what this says is, came to our attention um, that a video titled MTG How to Make Proxy Cards describing in great detail a method for creating magic, uh, the gathering trading cards, um, blah blah blah. Um, I'm writing to inform you that contrary uh, to your claims, uh, your conduct without question violates federal copyright law in a number of ways. And it pretty much just tells me that what I'm doing is illegal and if I don't stop they're going to come after me and uh, do something about it. So I've been talking to a couple different lawyer friends about uh, what I can legally do to still make these if I can like make them and still take like donations or something like that. And right now, I'm just kind of calling it quits. Um, you know, either somebody was really lame and didn't really understand what proxies are and how valuable these are to the community. Um, you know, I don't see myself as like cheating somebody. Like, I'm, I'm sorry if people do see as like proxy making as like cheating people on uh, on their cards. But you know, it's nobody is making these things and besides like private people like me that just you know kind of put these things together for fun you know if if you're just a casual like a lot of people don't play competitively a lot of people are just casual they like playing on their kitchen table with their friends you know everyone comes over on a saturday or on a sunday or something hang out and play some magic have a good time but good cards like even if you wanted to make a cube like I like a lot of the proxy stuff I did were guys that were making cubes because who can afford power nine to put in their cube but everybody wants to play with power because it's the most broken cards because it is what it is um, and so to give somebody the ability to play casually with a card that they would otherwise never be able to own I mean I, I can um, I can relate a lot to that because when I remember when I first started playing Magic, a four dollar card sounded ridiculous to me. I, I thought like, I, I first started playing during um, the the Frexia, uh, New Frexia cycle in the in the Mirrodin uh, Siege block or whatever, and I remember looking at uh, I wanted to do an Infect deck and Frexian Crusader was a, a four or five dollar card. I'm like, so I spend twenty dollars just for these four cards and these four slots in my deck, like, man, that's really expensive. And that was kind of when I was still just getting into it again, and I was learning that, man, it was going to take, you know, two, three hundred dollars to make a competitive standard deck. And that still holds true today. You know, if you want to be competitive in Theros right now, you know, mono black, mono blue, blue black, or no, white black, uh, the Orzhov stuff, like, all those cards are extremely expensive, and you need a lot of expensive cards to make them work. Something that's even more ridiculous, the crap cards, like really bad cards that are seeing play specifically just because of their hybrid mana cost to turn on devotion and everything. It's like, we're playing some of the worst cards in Magic right now strictly because it turns on devotion and makes these broken gods work. And, and that's kind of why I'm not doing uh, Theros right now. You haven't really seen a whole lot of uh, standard deck techs or anything. I do have a couple budget decks that I'm going to uh, throw up here for you guys uh, if you're interested. Um, I sort of took them from like some other budget decks I saw, some other channels, and just made some changes. And, I mean, I've test played them. I've played a couple of my friends with standard decks and everything, and, and they do all right. But but like I said, I could, I could really relate to you know the people that want a proxy card that can't afford the real thing. Um, you know, I never thought I would own a Jace the Mind Sculptor, and now I have three. And a lot of that I have to thank you guys for. You guys, um, you know, gave me a lot of 
um, products. You get, you get you give me a lot of cards uh, in in trade for for these proxies and everything. I, I got a lot of good trade deals um, when I would go to my local card shop and trade some of these things that I didn't need in. And so thank you guys. You guys really uh, helped me put my legacy deck on the map for me. Um, I, you know, it's it's pretty much done. There's I need I, I would like one more tundra to to get it in there. Um, you know, it's a hundred and ten twenty dollar card. Ugh. <laughs> so it's I mean it's it's a fun deck though. It's it's fun to play this game. It's when it gets too expensive is when it stops being fun. And it's like oh well I need you know, a thousand dollars worth of cards just to be competitive in this format. It's like, that's not fun for a lot of people, especially kids. If you're trying to grow your game and, and grow it out into these, um, you know, to, to more people, and especially to younger kids that play, um, that that's not the way to go. Uh, there's going to be no formats for them to possibly play. I mean, Standards takes 200 bucks to make a deck. That's out of the question. No parent is going to spend $200 on pieces of cardboard for their 8-year-old, 9-year-old, 10-year-old to, to go play Friday night at the card shop, you know. Um, and I'm sorry this video is kind of, I'm sort of rambling and, and talking about everything that's been going on um, for the last few months uh, since I haven't posted a video in a very, very long time. So I'm sorry to my community. Um, a lot of you guys, you know, I was still getting messages from some people asking about proxies, and I just haven't even really responded because I don't want to have to tell you no that I can't make them. It's, it's really sad. I thought that this was a really cool thing that I was doing, and like I said, I'm pretty sure somebody just brought it to the attentions of Wizards because there's so many other proxy videos on YouTube that were there long before I was there. And for me, you know, to get a letter to tell me to take it off or I'm going to, you know, have a lawyer come after me or some shit is really, really lame. Um, so once again, sorry guys. Um, trying to think of anything I could possibly do for you if I can still offer you any type of products. Um, I think basic lands are the only thing I could really do if you guys wanted like a whole bunch of like unhinged style lands or something like that. Um, I might not even be able to do lands. That's kind of sad, huh? Lands that any store would just give you for free just to pimp your deck out if you want like some foiled unhinged stuff. Alright guys. Once again, sorry for the rambling. I know it's been coming on eight minutes here, but um, I'm going to try to get some more content up. I'm going to try to um, get these budget decks, uh, try to do a video this weekend, if not the beginning of the week, uh, to get you guys some more content here, and I'm going to try to come back. Maybe I'll do some gameplay. Um, maybe I'll take, I got a GoPro, and maybe I'll take that to like some of my tournaments, and uh do some legacy gameplay for you guys. Comment below if that's something you guys be interested in. Uh, same thing, I could take my budget decks to like a standard FNM or like we, we have like a Tuesday night one. It's like we call it like Casual Tuesdays, uh, where everyone just plays like rubbish Friday night magic decks. And it's just like it's just really fun. You know, a lot of people um, will actually let you make mistakes and take things back because it's such a casual uh, game day. And it's like, oh, I'm gonna drop this guy. Oh crap, I meant to play this guy instead. Do you care? Is that alright? And be like, whatever. It's Tuesday. Casual Tuesday. Fuck it. But uh, if that's something you guys are interested in, if you want some gameplay or just like some casual gameplay here at my house, my friends come over, my buddy comes over and I beat the crap out of him with his fairy deck. Ah, uh, uh, he's, he's good. He's got, he's, my, my friends are, are, are good sports. Good sports. You know, we, we, we bust on each other a lot and, uh, and give each other a real hard time. Uh, and that's part of what makes the game fun. So I just saw it click over to nine minutes. All right, I'm going to stop talking uh, and let you guys watch this. Once again, um, sorry about uh, having to stop the production of the proxies, but I'm not, you know, trying to pay thousands and thousands in court costs to try to defend myself. Um, it is what it is at this point. Thanks, Wizards. Bunch of douchebags, and you're taking away stuff that your community actually wants. Good job. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for being subscribed. If you're new to the channel and you're just seeing this video um, and you came thinking that there was going to be some proxy stuff, sorry that it's gone now. If you unsubscribe, and I I'm probably going to lose a, a lot of subscribers, I understand. Um, I'm going to try to kind of forge this channel into something more that you guys want. 
So post below this video and tell me what you want this channel to forge more into. If you want more gameplay, if you want me to, you know, get some packs, crack some packs, um, if you want me to just kind of talk about, like, how I trade and just trading, um, just, I don't know, just how to mentally prepare yourself to getting rid of your collection <laughs> so you can get, like, five cards for, like, a hundred cards, but... I mean, it is what it is. Sometimes you gotta thin the herd and you gotta unload some of the extra stuff you got sitting around. I mean, it, here, I'll show you this really quick. This is just um, my my shelf of Magic the Gathering product. Most of it is empty, but um, here, it just had a bunch of junk everywhere. And these are all filled, you know, filled with cards. I got them, like, organized by color and everything, so... It's it's crazy. Sometimes you got to get rid of those junk rares. Um, I, I sold actually a bunch of stuff to Star City Games um, at a local tournament. Uh, they came and I had a junk rare binder with like un unplayable rares, stuff like Foundry Champion. Look up Foundry Champion and tell me that's a playable card in uh, in any you know constructed format because it's not. Uh, traded a whole bunch of junk like that that were generally twenty five cent rares. Uh, I think I got. 10 to 25 cents a piece on all of them ended up with $70 trade value got a scrub land for 10 bucks good deal for me um, but all right guys like I said don't forget to comment below um, and we'll forge this channel into something that you guys want to watch uh, I'm still gonna be doing some giveaways I got extra cards extra product I got I said I was gonna be doing a hoodie a long time ago I forgot about that I have a Jace hoodie that I got a touch up actually here let's Let's throw that on here really quick. Where is that bad boy? Here we go. Ugh, sorry about that. Here, we'll just throw the hood up so you can kind of... i got to touch it up because it's not as um, dark as it used to be. Sorry about the camera, guys. But um, you can sort of get the idea here but like like these need to be touched up to make darker they're starting to fade a little bit so once I get it touched up uh, I'm probably gonna give it away to a subscriber here and we'll be doing a video on that so now that I said I was gonna be done making this video at nine minutes it's now 12 minutes and I'm really gonna stop and I can't get this thing back up in my closet one-handed so later guys uh, thanks for subscribing thanks for watching the video don't forget to comment peace out